This week, I wanted to share with you guys a cool story about a friend of mine from Madagascar called Michelle and a project that I've been working on this last year called Surf to Surf. So this project, Surf to Surf, started about a year ago where we collect used surf equipment, kite surf equipment, wing foot equipment, anything to do with surfing and donate it to people that might not have the opportunities to either buy it or afford it and with that allow them to be able to get out on the water and share the stoke that we all love being on the ocean. So before I leave you to continue with this video, I just want to leave you with a saying that I live by. The act of giving continues giving. When you help someone, you help someone else. So go give someone a hand, go support them and be that inspiration or that motivating person in their life. So about a year ago, I decided to sell a bunch of gear from prior seasons and photo shoots that wasn't being used. And so this is where I connected with Michelle from Madagascar. I sent him a bunch of gear that he bought for his center. And so since a year, I've been following his journey with his kite surfing school in Sakalava Bay in the north of Madagascar. So about a year later, with amazing donations from so many people to surf to serve, along with Cor and myself, I decided Michelle would be such an awesome person to support not only his school in Madagascar, but the community around him, the kite instructors that he teaches first how to kite and then works at a school, the kids and the community that can benefit from not only being able to get onto the water, but also being able to become kite surf instructors and make a living through kite surfing. So it hasn't been easy as Michelle is from Madagascar and he speaks Malagasy and French and my French is let's say not too good, but it's been such an interesting time using Google Translate to communicate through this language barrier and have such good times together like going out for sessions here in Mauritius. I'm really content to be here in the morgue. The condition is really ideal, the spot is so beautiful. The olive vagues and the ants are really welcoming. It was so cool to, to have him visit. I've known him for about a year, but only on Facebook, on Messenger. We've been communicating through Google Translate. And now to share a session with him finally and be on the water together is, is super fun and so great too. Nice. Yeah. Next time in Madagascar. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Let's do it. Good. Michelle didn't quite realize how much equipment we were planning to give him. I think traveling back to Madagascar, he was probably quite concerned when he saw this huge amount of gear, hundreds of kilos. And my main concern is if he'll be able to get it all back. It was so great to see his eyes light up and feel how excited he was just to receive this gear, knowing how much it's going to impact him, his school, the community around him, the instructors that he can bring on, the new clients that will be able to come to his school and enjoy good times. Et merci beaucoup. On se revoit bientôt Madagascar. Ciao. So why I support people like Michelle? Well, there's people all across the world that are doing good things in their communities, just like Michelle in Madagascar. And kite surfing, wing foiling, surfing is getting more and more hard for people to get into. It's getting more and more expensive, it's getting difficult to learn, it's getting more and more exclusive for people. And if we can find a way or an opportunity that allows more people to get out on the water, to allow people to get more inspired, to be outdoors and really living life to the maximum. Là, on est vraiment au top au niveau d'équipement. Moi, je donnerai mon parole. J'ai formé tous les jeunes qui est motivé, qui est dynamique. En vue, c'est lancé dans les domaines des kitesurf et le oui. On te remercie vraiment beaucoup pour ton don qui nous a amené pour développer les kitesurf et le windsurf à Madagascar. Merci beaucoup, Willow. Yo, merci, Willow. I want to leave you guys with one little message. Be that person that gets someone outdoors, living life to their fullest. As we know, sports has the power to change the world. And I believe that so much. So if we can all do our little bit to get someone out onto the beautiful ocean or up into the mountains, whatever it is, just be that person in their life that, that they can be inspired by, that can be motivated, which can be you. All of us have the power to do that. And we all have the power to change the world through sports.